What you're about to see is from Rebel Base, IGN's weekly Star Wars show. Stop it. There is another Star Wars film coming out. It's called yeah. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. That's coming out in December. Yeah. Like, it's January now. Let's work out how many days. No. Um, but I think it's a hard sell. I think people are going to be... This is going to be a really hard sell for people. Okay. Because, like, episode eight could... I think the reception and stuff for episode eight could not have gone better. Like, people are into seven. Star Wars. It's episode seven. People loved it. Like... The only thing that went wrong is me getting the title wrong just, just now. Just then. That's Literally. the first thing that's that's gone wrong. Oh, it's thing. interesting. Nothing's ever gone wrong before. <laughs> that's the first. That's the only thing that's gone wrong with it. Like, then you go, oh, okay, when's the next? You're just a normal person, right? You don't okay. make a weekly Star Wars show. You don't work for IGN. Okay. You've got two kids, okay. um, John and William. Um, and they're like, oh, I want to go see a new Star Wars film. Don't worry, there's one coming out in December. Wicked, is um, Finn, Ray, all those lot going to be in? Yeah. No, none of them going to be in it. Oh, okay, but there'll be Jedis and stuff. No, it's not going to be any Jedis in it at all. Okay. How would you sell that um, to John and William? What's the film? Look at it, it looks so what's dark. The, what's the film about? Um, they're stealing the plans of the Death Star. Yeah. They get, they get the plans of the Death Star. Yeah. Yeah, is we know. Is that the end of the, the movie? Yeah. Mm. Obviously, we're playing Devil's Africa, but like there are problems, I guess, with you know people fly the, the, the. So I'll play Devil's Africa on this. It's got Star Wars in the title. Yes. And people in a world where um, there are other now cinematic universes where there are two or three Marvel films out every year. Yeah. Not every Marvel film furthers the central Marvel story. No. You know, Ant Man came out this year and was largely disconnected from the events following Avengers Age of Ultron, even nah, the Civil I, War. It's pretty connected, I think, that man is. How? It's got Falcon in it. It's not connected, there's no fallout. No, okay, no, no connected. No, not in the like, same way that Civil War is gonna be. No, 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 okay, fine. Yeah. No, as in, not for in the story, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, or Guardians then. Yeah. Change that one. Mm. Guardians came out, there was nothing in there recognizable from other Marvel movies. Yeah. And yet it still was really successful because yeah. On the title card, one of the reasons is you go, this is a Marvel movie. Yeah. And it's a fun movie. This, in a similar way, will say Star Wars. Yeah. And Star Wars, like, we're, you know, we're in Star Wars fever at the minute. Mm. I still think that's going to exist by the end of the year. I, no, I still, I still think that. I just think it's a hard sell. Yeah. They've, got, they've got their work cut out for them. I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be really good. It's got yeah. so much good going for it. I think it's, yeah. So what about the other kind of criticism or the thing that people are kind of flagging is the lack of, the fact that we know the story to a degree. Yeah. We, we might not know the how, yeah. but we know how it ends up. Yeah. Do you think that's a significant problem? Because you know with the prequels, we knew what was gonna to happen to Anakin. Yeah. We didn't know the specifics, but we knew where he was gonna end up. I really do think it's a problem. Um, not because I'm not interested in it, and I do like, <clears throat> but I think it's a problem for like regular like Joe Schlo. Because I love having like all these little blanks filled in and things like that. And as you mentioned with the Marvel films, but those those are pretty much taking place at the same time, right? Like you have some flashbacks and stuff like that, and obviously like Captain America is a little bit different. But with this, it's uh, it was taking place before what's just happened. It's not going to really inform that we know too much mm. of what's coming next. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's kind of hard. I, I do I do care, but at the same time, it's got to be a really interesting story for it to matter. I do think there's something about our culture currently where we put too much store on what happens, not how it happens. Mm. So the quality of the execution versus or just what happens. And that's why we've become such a spoiler phobic society. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like, oh my God, what happens? I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, but the actual episode's shit. Yeah. It's boring to watch. Yeah. You're saying that the reveal is more interesting than the journey. For yeah. instance, like every Shakespearean tragedy, you know what's going to happen. The guy whose name is in the title is going to die and do something <laughs> bad and going to fall from grace. Yeah. But it's the journey of how you get there that's exciting. And I feel like- I always, I always think that with Game of Thrones, like people, if you ask like, I'm not gonna, not idiots, but if you ask people, if you ask people about Game of Thrones, they'll talk about the big uh, moments. Yeah. Those are often like some of the worst episodes, I think. Yeah, it's how you get there, I think. Yeah. And I feel like we do, we, so even though you know they're gonna steal the plans, mm doesn't mean that the story of how they get them isn't massively entertaining yeah, and yeah. exciting and can have surprises within an itself. Yeah. But I think we do get fixated on endings and Definitely, reveals yeah, too yeah. much that, you know, something could still be rubbish, yeah. but have lots of surprises in it. <laughs> like, mm. 
Um, yeah, so no. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. No. You know, you can create dramatic tension in other ways, even though you know they ultimately get it. Yeah. It might get in a way you didn't surpri- like expect. Everyone might die. Yeah. Like, I read a really cool thing, and like, if you don't want, I guess Rogue One spoil for you. I get. I mean, it's a speculation, but it is kind of spoilery. So if you don't want to, don't watch this. But um, I read a really cool thing about Mads Mikkelsen's character, and apparently, like, he's like this sort of like Oppenheimer type guy who's created the Death Star, then starts to feel really guilty about it. Uh, but what he's done, he looks upon, you know, what he's thing and gone, yeah. you know. And because he feels bad about it, he decides to try and take it down, employing his daughter um, to kind of like smash it all up. And that's, to me that sounds awesome, because that sounds yeah. like Star Wars. Because mm. even though what's happening is this big intergalactic space battle, mm. super epic, in the foreground it's just like, it's soap opera. Yeah. It's like a, it's a guy who's created something awful, it's this daughter, this family yeah. involved. That seems very Star Wars-y to me. Yeah, I really like that. Um, but I mean, it, we've said, is Rogue One coming out too soon? Do you think they should have gone with Episode Eight first? I mean, they probably couldn't have, but... I, I think, I think invert the problem a little bit and yeah. go, right, we want to do these anthology movies because I think there's interesting stuff in the Star Wars universe and we want to expand it a little yeah. bit. We're better launching this after the high of episode seven. Yeah. And just getting it out there. Whereas if we do all the episodic movies and then move on to these, then it's almost. I think it's it's really almost like point. you smuggle it in in between and hopefully yeah. it'll lift it up. Like you put Ant Man just after Avengers, like sort yeah. of maybe ride the wave a little bit more. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think that, that definitely works. Um, I just, yeah, I, I hope it's really, really good anyway. And I think. They wouldn't do this if they didn't have a really good idea of how all these Star Wars stories are going to work. I think it's a really, you know, it's a tough one making a Star Wars story. I think they should have gone with something that we didn't know as much. Mm. I think maybe they should have picked a character and gone for that because if it looks like it's going to go from this to Han Solo, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I actually kind of want to see them taking smaller characters and going off of them, like, not necessarily like Boba Fett and stuff. Max Rebo, do you know what I mean? Like, and like this is Final Tap. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know. They're taking a story that we kind of know the end into, but going, actually, did you know there's a lot more to this than you thought? Awesome. Do you think Rogue One is coming out too soon? Are you really looking forward to it? Let us know, rebelbaseigen.com. I was drinking my water, and for everything else, stars, keep right here on IGN.